just astounded that this works so well. For free. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's spectacular. What is this? This is nothing more than a lens that came out of one of those giant uh, uh, plasma TVs from back in the day. You know, the ones that weighed like 200 pounds and were, you know, took to you, two buddies, and a, and a moving company to get it in your house. Well, I just took out the plastic lenses that were in front of and behind it. And originally I was going to see if I could shoot a laser down into it. And you can see the spec here where the laser uh, blasted the surface of this glass. I was wondering what the laser would do, the CO2 laser, but it just blasts the glass. So yeah, I need to make a little holder now. So that way I can get some, uh, some nice detail shots of things. You know, because occasionally I'll be doing a project or a YouTube video, and it would be really nice if I could show some detail. Um, maybe you have like a circuit board here, and you want to you wanna show some detail of it. this little puppy. Now you can. There you go. Hey, that's, that's spectacular. It even works with the zoom. Unzoomed. Zoom. And then if we were to try to do this without it, That is as good as I can get. That's as close as I can get it before we start losing focus. And if I put this back on. Wait, just look at that. That's so cool. It's like I got a built in microscope or something. Oh, that's, this is going to be handy. By the way, gotta like the jumper here on this thing. See that? Piece of wire. <laughs> Not sure what that's about. But yeah, the way this was, what this was designed for was to take a very focused beam of, or an array of lights here and as the light would shine through, it would then have to spread it evenly out the backside onto that uh, piece of, uh, y you know, that uh, that sheet, that like plastic sheet they'd have it on the front of it and the magnifying glass there. So at any rate, this little glass piece, free, out of one of those plasma TVs. Great little hack uh, if you're in YouTube and you don't want to go out and spend a bunch of money on lenses and whatnot. Anyway, it works for my little camera here, uh, my little DMC-G5 uh, Panasonic Lumix. Alright, so we've liberally applied hot glue and did our best not to get any in between. Um, the only bad part, the only bad thing I can see with this is that any moisture trapped in there may condense and fog up this lens. Uh, so we may have to open this up slightly to let some air in there perhaps. We'll see. At any rate, what's interesting is I originally shot this with the CO2 laser and it fractured the glass there, as you can see. Uh, I was, you know, what would the laser do? <laughs> that old question. But it doesn't appear to have any effect on quality. Now, so you can see it there, right? So I'm going to slowly move this in and screw it onto the lens. So, see it there? Still see it? Gone. Kind of, well, sort of. By the time I get up here and screw this thing on, there we go. Lens screwed on now. It's pretty much go. Well, I take that back. That might be what this is. Oh, it is! Dang it! Let's zoom in. I mean, look how cool that is. I mean,. That's just cool. We've effectively changed the focal length without having to spend, you know, 50, 60 bucks for free. Some hot glue and some ingenuity 
and some, I mean, it's got some kind of cool effects too going on here. It's like it can see into my soul. I mean, that, that's just, I think that's astounding. I mean, that's just so cool. I like me a macro lens. I really do. Especially, I like me a macro lens for free. So, now in the future, future video will be interesting. So, one of the things I want to do in the future was, like, when I take something apart and want to show surface, surface finish or something like that. No, I can. I mean, look at the... That's just really cool. Look at that. The detail. For free. I'm just astounded that this works so well. For free. <laughs> so I, I think in the future we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and open up this master lock here to scrutiny. See exactly what this looks like on the inside. So, you know, if you want to see that, subscribe, stay tuned, and I hope you enjoyed this helpful little hack. Yeah, if you want to call it a hack. It's money saving. I like money saving hacks. It's just so nice to be able to have this to where what I see with my eyeball can be translated to you guys flawlessly. I mean, that that's just really nice. I have been really wanting this for a while, and... I'm glad that I finally got around to just trying different lenses I had uh, in hopes of it working. <laughs> so that's all this was. So if you see one of these big TVs on the side of the road, go ahead. There's three of these inside there, one for each color. And I, any of these will do. Pull it apart. There'll be like a whole slew of plastic and glass lenses. And grab the glass one out of there and you got yourself a little macro lens. Skin. Dude. Let me zoom in. Alright, so what you're looking at here is where my skin was separated because a table saw blade came, entered here, that one of the carbide teeth came through here and then poked itself out this backside. Split me right open, stem to stern on my finger. It's crazy how this thing knit back together. You can see here where it kind of swirled. You can see it like down here, these wrinkles are continuous, but here, you can see where they've kind of like started joining together like a seam. Like they, they, form, they come up this way. Human body is amazing! So since I have this macro lens, I thought this would be a great idea to uh, look at this amenity that I got for Christmas. It's got uh, all these different things on it, uh, different size wrenches. Um, yeah, but I, I thought what was more interesting is how it, and I believe this is made out of titanium, um, but what's more interesting is how they make it. So this is actually a cast part, and you can tell that because if you look here, you see the casting line right down the center, and there's ever so slightly a slope. You can see the letters here were cast in place, but yeah, you can see like here that didn't quite come out. Here you got another one. But yeah, you can see here, like, the chatter marks of the mold. When the mold was machined, uh, they had a little bit of chatter. But that's also how they're able to have these uh, sharp corners without a radius in them. Uh, so you would have a really hard time machining this, so this almost has to be a cast part. Right, because you would leave a, a radius in this corner, and that corner, and that corner, unless you had an infinitely small bit. Or, conversely, I suppose you could have this laser cut, and that would probably work out really well. But this obviously is not a laser cut finish. So yeah, they cast this, pull it out of the mold, and then they sand uh, the slag off the top and bottom. And there's your finished part. That seems like that's pretty much the extent of the finishing they do. So that would be a fairly cheap part, I would think, to make, unless it's cast titanium. I'm not sure if this is stainless or titanium. I suppose we could get a magnet. Slightly magnetic. So this could be a 400 series of stainless. 
Alright, so there you have it. Very, very cheap, inexpensive, inexpen very cheap, inexpensive macro lens. Um, just really gonna open up my filming capabilities here. Yeah. So when I want it on, I screw it on. And when I want it off, I leave it off. And because of that dent there, I'm gonna be looking for a new one of these and uh, making another one because. Uh, it's really gonna bother me. I, I mean, I don't notice. I, you probably don't notice it unless I had told you, but yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching.